My name, for those who don't know me, is Tim Blackman. I'm acting vice chancellor at the Open University. And I'd like to give you a very, very warm welcome coming along tonight to the launch of our Open Minds talk series. Uh, just a few opening remarks from me. As many of you will know, the Open University has a worldwide reputation for innovation in learning technologies. And for nearly 50 years, we've championed what we see as the transformatory power of access to higher education and using new technologies to enable that access to meet our mission of being open to people, places, methods and ideas has been right at the centre of what we're doing. So tonight we're going to hear about the future of technology in education. What is it that's going on at the frontier? And we've got four expert panellists with us, three from the OU, from two of our great institutes here, and our guest academic who I welcome in a moment from the University of Edinburgh, who we're very pleased to be with us tonight. So first of all, you're going to hear from Professor Peter Scott, who's director of our Knowledge Media Institute. And Peter's going to consider which are the technologies that we really need to pay attention to now in terms of future learners. And then we're going to hear from Professor Eileen Scanlon, who's Associate Director for Research and Innovation in our Institute of Educational Technology here at the OU, and of course our Regis Professor in Open Education. And Eileen's going to take us back to school. She's going to discuss how we might create more inquirer learners. And then next, you're going to hear from Professor Mike Sharples, who's Chair in Educational Technology, Professor in Educational Technology, also in the Institute of Educational Technology here at the OU. And Mike's going to explore how new devices can be used as scientific tools for the citizen scientist. And then finally, we're going to hear from our guest speaker, Professor Sean Bain from the University of Edinburgh, who's examining the changing notions of university learning spaces and telling us something about her work uh, at, back at Edinburgh. So I think we can look forward to a really interesting and inspiring exchange of views. And I'm going to ask you to save up your questions till the end. We'll hear all the, all the speakers first, save your questions, and then we'll have some time at the end for some Q&A.